Welcome back to, I think, one of the last number-related videos on this uh, pure data tutorial. And we have to focus on the division now and the modulo function. And the modulo function um, and certain kind of division, they are the key to very, very helpful uh, tools we will discover in the next videos. And just to get a little insight what it's doing, the math behind it, and later on we don't have to care about it because we just use it. So let's have a look at division. We divide, let's say, a message 8 by another message 2, or let's say we want to divide 8 and 3. So we have different uh, situations. One, we will expect a remainder, and one situation with no remainder. So we do this. We know this routine right now. First we feed argument and then we do the expression and we say okay 8 divided by 2 of course is 4 um, we copy paste it and we do it like this then we see first we have to feed argument that it's just a 2 and this says okay diff divides 8 by 3 so okay 3 will fit two times completely into the eight, but we don't get a remainder. For getting a full result with remainder, we need this object. Let me just connect both of them. That's totally fine. Set the three. Now eight divided by three, we see, okay, that's the floating point result. So that's the difference. The vision or diff object uh, gives you the result without remainder and division of course gives you the floating point value. Now we have the mod, the modulo function and what the modulo function is, is exactly the opposite. It gives you only the remainder. So I put it here and I also use, uh, that's too much. To copy and paste, and we use the three, and again, do modulo like this, and then we connect the lines quickly. And we see it like this: we feed the argument and hit eight. Okay, we see there's a zero coming out, and we hit the three and the eight, and there comes out a two, and this is because modulo. Uh, gives the remainder of a division. So 8 divided by 3 results in 2 times 3 will fit into the 8, so we have a 6, and then 8 minus 6 will give you a rest of 2. This is a very important function if you want to um, do some timing and yeah, rounding and calculations. We will have a look in the next video.